and now let's go back to our section to see some issues now if you turn to course you can see that we have these uh, black colors but for the uh, floors also you have to do the same thing for the graphics you can choose the black and okay to have this result for the for the uh, roof but because, because they are not the same also we have to choose this one and then change it to black like that to have this result but if you go to fine and you want to make some materials maybe you, you can make some hatches now let's do that together to see the results so now if I click to edit type and maybe for the material of this one and for the cut layer for the cut pattern maybe you can choose this hatches for the reinforced concrete or something like that in another scale but let's do that for choose the diagonal cross hatches for the cut pattern and you can see that we have this representation and also for the other one you can go and make the same thing for the cut pattern so I will go to the cut pattern here and give it the same thing which is the diagonal cross hatch apply like that maybe they are not the same I don't know maybe let's try to choose the other one I don't know maybe this one yes and also for the walls if you want to give it some material for the finishes for example let's give the material such as stone let's try to give a stone try to write stone here maybe you can have maybe this it is not important you can play with that and have the correct material that you want maybe we can give diagonal down and let's try to see and also for the structure maybe you can give it also something like concrete let's try to see if we have concrete yes we have concrete here concrete cast in a place exterior concrete and for the cut pattern maybe we can give it something like that I think now we have the hatches but also the concrete because these walls have the concrete on the surface pattern so I will go back on the concrete material and they try to give none here so we can get this result for this section but maybe if you want to play with the scale of the concrete you can do that by going back and go to the concrete here for the cut pattern you can uh, press on this edit fill pattern and then play with the scale maybe we can give it 0 0.3 for example if you want that you can get this result with more uh, let's say smaller scale of the concrete okay maybe we need to make some barbit here so I will choose the wall maybe we can play with this arrow a little bit and you have the opportunity to give uh, maybe a specific let's give 0 0.045 Oh, yes it is in centimeter 45 like that you can do the same maybe from the 3d we can use the align tool let's use the align tool or you have the opportunity to select them and give them the offset but let's make the align now and try to choose the multiple aligns so I will go here maybe you can make multiple alignment to prefer choose this one let's try to do that another time 
I will choose this one and align them together like that oops let me try it again yes yes and as you see the floors is extended to the finishes to the get the result here in the section and this is an interesting result you can play with that maybe you can give now for the view template give it for example something like 3d view to give some uh, representation of the shadows you can play with the shadows and get whatever you want so this is the way how you can maybe uh, represent your section in a good way for the construction if I go back to the course I will get this result for the early design conceptual design and something like that let's go back to our ground ground floor let's do see what we have maybe the interior walls also need to have some materials so I will go to the materials here maybe I can find something like brick yes I have this brick maybe for the cut pattern it is good or you can change it as you want and change the scale as I showed you so I will go ok and you will have this representation for the interior walls and also for if I turn back to the course you will have this color that we assigned to it I think this is enough for this tutorial this too much and maybe in the next video I will show you how to add the stairs and also the site plan for this project and also if I go to 3d you can see the topography here how we can create the topography alongside our uh, small house and also some side components in this project so if you are interested in these videos like and share these videos and also do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos such as these have a nice day